Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how to improve shadow quality in Unity 6. Previously, in Unity 2022, when we created a URP project, the shadow quality would be quite high by default. If we do the same in Unity 6, we can see that the shadow quality is much lower. We're going to compare the default settings between the two versions of Unity and see what needs changing to improve the shadows in Unity 6. If we go to the Settings folder in Unity 2022, we can see that there are various render pipeline assets for different quality settings. By default, it uses the High Fidelity settings. We'll select this and scroll down to the Lighting and Shadows section in the inspector. Now we'll compare this to Unity 6. In Unity 6, there are now only two different quality settings, PC and Mobile. It will default to the PC one. The quality settings in here are much lower than the high quality settings in Unity 2022. Let's start changing some of these settings to match. First of all, we'll change the shadow resolution of the main light to 4096. This increases the texture resolution of the shadows and makes them sharper. We'll do this for the resolution settings of additional lights as well. Next, we'll update the shadow distance to 150. This will increase the distance that shadows are rendered. Increasing the distance initially reduces the quality of nearby shadows. We'll look at the cascade settings to improve this. Cascades improve shadow quality over distance by using multiple shadow maps. The split distances determine the distance that shadow cascades transition from one to another. We'll set the distances to match the Unity 2022 settings. The shadows are looking better but still aren't great. If we look at the soft shadow settings, we can see nothing seems to happen when we change the quality. This is because it's being overridden by the light settings. If we select the directional light in the hierarchy, we can see that there's an option for soft shadows quality. It's currently set to low. We can change this to a specific value, or we can set it to match the settings from the render pipeline asset. Now the shadows are looking better. It's worth noting that there's a performance overhead to this. Better shadows may result in lower frame rates so you'll need to find the right balance for your game. For example, we could increase the resolution to 8192 to get even sharper shadows, but this would come at a cost. One other important setting that you may want to change is the anti-aliasing. This isn't related to shadows, but does make the graphics look much smoother. We'll change this to four times to remove the jagged edges in our game. Okay, that covers everything for this video. Let us know in the comments if you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!